One Ton Life is presented by Vattenfall, Volvo and Ahus. Today, the average European carbon dioxide emission per person per year is about 7 tons or more. Our transport, the way we live, the food we eat, our shopping and the energy we use in our everyday lives all leave a footprint in the carbon dioxide we emit. We must drastically reduce our emissions and become aware of how the planet is being impacted so as not to raise the Earth's average temperature more than absolutely necessary. The One Ton Life project was started to see if it is possible to live a climate smart life without major compromises in our Western lifestyle. Here we meet Christian Assar from Chalmers University of Technology in Göteborg. Hello, my name is Christian Assar and I am a professor of energy and environment at Chalmers University of Technology. Uh, we're involved in the One Ton Life project in that we're developing, uh, among other things, the methodology that is being used to estimate how much CO2 or other greenhouse gas and other greenhouse gases that the family emits. And now I've been asked to say a few words about the scientific background. How much, what do we know about the climate system and what is it that is uh, uncertain? And I will focus now on things that we know uh, with virtual certainty. On OneTonLife.com, it's possible to monitor the family's CO2 emissions week by week. We asked Christian why the target of one ton was chosen. Basically, it follows from uh, the nations of the world who have adopted a two degree target for the temperature increase that uh, we're about to confront. So the target for the world is that the temperature should not exceed uh, or the temperature increase should not exceed two degrees centigrade. And if that is the target, then scientists can estimate how much CO2 can we emit in order not to surpass that level. And this graph shows uh, an estimate of how much CO2 we can emit, and it begins in the year 2000 until the year 2100. And CO2 emissions have increased since 2000 to 2100. And then the model estimates how much we can emit in order to avoid uh, that the temperature increases by more than two degrees. And we see here that emissions have to go down. Uh, and basically throughout the entire uh, century, and by 2060 or so, emissions have to come down to 10 billion tons of carbon dioxide per year and now they're almost at 40 billion tons. So it's uh, almost a 75% reduction of the global CO2 emissions. Now 10 billion tons of CO2 uh, globally, how much does that boil down to on a per capita basis? Well, if the world by 2060 will have something like 10 billion people, the calculation is straightforward. We can emit 10 billion tons and there will be 10 billion people. So that means one ton per person per year and that this is for CO2 emissions. In 2011, the Lindell family will live in a climate smart house and live the one ton life, which focuses on reducing carbon dioxide emissions. Let's visit them in their current home in Hesselby, Stockholm. Lars Eijeklint of Vattenfall is a specialist in energy and housing, and he's visiting the Lindells to check their current lifestyle. Well, here we are with the Lindell family in Hesselby. Let's go in and see how they handle their energy. Are they energy wasters or energy efficient? Let's go find out. Hello, hello. Hey. En kall hand där. Varma händer. Hey, välkommen. Tackar, tackar. Och Lasse. Tjena, Lasse. My name is Hanna Lindell and I'm 16 years old. I'm in my first year of sixth form college. In my free time I enjoy a whole lot of things. I like hanging out with my friends, going to cafes, listening to music, reading. I spend quite a lot of time on Facebook. I also enjoy riding. I ride a horse called Casper once or twice a week. Can you tell us a little about your house? We've lived here for four years. The house was built in 76. When we moved in, the deco was typical 1970s, but since then we've made a whole lot of changes. Mm. 
Jag är vattenfall. I'm Vattenfalls energy expert. I'm here to help the family reduce their energy consumption without compromising on comfort or living like hermits. After they move into their new house, I'll help the family cut their energy usage still further. Even though the house itself is designed to help them reach their goal, there's still more to do. The family will get the chance to live in a house built with the latest technology, featuring really thick walls, excellent insulation and so on. So they get a lot for free when they move from here to the one-ton life house. Today, you live in a 1970s villa, and back then it was common to install direct electric heating, as we see here. But you've done something here behind this staircase. That's right, we feel it's really cozy when warm air blows in. How much electricity do you use here? About 30,000 kilowatt hours a year. So that's about 37,000 Swedish crowns. My name is Nils Lindell. I'm 52 years old and work as an organization consultant. In my free time, I like to be on the move. I play indoor hockey, I sail, and above all, I enjoy tennis. In fact, I sometimes take tennis lessons. It's great to see that one can continue developing even at the age of 52. And that's exactly the way I see the One Ton Life project too. It's an opportunity to develop. My name is Alicia. I'm 51 and work as an assistant principal for five private preschools in Bromma. We live in a 1970s villa in Hesselby in western Stockholm. My interests are sailing in the summer together with the family, skiing in the winter, long walks with good friends, cooking, design, and last but not least, Zumba, which I absolutely love. I try to maintain a training regime of three times a week. My name is Jonathan Lindell and I'm 13 years old. I like playing the guitar. I like rock, the Beatles. I'm also learning to play the drums once a week. I have an electric drum set downstairs. I go to the International English School in Bromma. About 50% of the lessons are in English. It's a great learning environment. I really enjoy reading. Harry Potter, the Aragon series, Wolf Brother, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, that sort of thing. In order to take a closer look at the food the family eats today and its CO2 footprint, we've asked the family to keep a food log and send it to dietitian Kristina Karlsson. Here's Ica's Kerstin Lindvall. My name is Kerstin Lindvall and I work for Ica, where I'm responsible for sustainability issues, uh, which is amongst climate, environment and health. ICA participates in this exciting project, One Ton Life, where our mission is to help Family Lindell to eat a bit more climate smart. It is a fact that a fourth of a Swede's climate footprint comes from food. And it's also a fact that almost 25 to 30 percent of the food that we buy and carry home is thrown away as waste. The Lindell family will be coached by experts from ICA on how to eat more climate smart. But just some short tips from my side. Eat up what you carry home go for more vegetarian food and try out lenses. To find out more about the family's week-by-week -week progress, go to onetonlife.com. The Lindell's transport today is their two petrol cars. Volvo has developed an all-electric version of the C30, and here we get to meet Simon Lamar, its designer. My name is Simon Lamar and I'm a designer at Volvo. I'm responsible for exterior design on all Volvo small cars. I am Canadian and moved to Sweden for about 20 years ago and I've had the great honor of working on Volvo C30 exterior design. The car that will be driven in a one-ton life project is a Volvo C30 electric. It is a Volvo C30 but with a whole new drivetrain. The car is 100% electric. It has lithium-ion batteries that on a full charge will give you almost 150 kilometers drive. It takes about eight hours to charge and the engine delivers 110 horsepower and about a maximum speed of 130 kilometers per hour. Now, as you know, Volvo is very keen on safety. That's why we position the batteries in the middle of the car to guarantee maximum crash safety. Today, the Lindell family drives two petrol-driven cars in their daily travelings. Now, once they start driving the Volvo C30 electric, their CO2 emissions will drop dramatically. When the family needs to travel on longer distances, they'll get to drive a green car from Volvo's drive-e range or travel by bus and train. 
Find out more about the family's consumption and emissions by clicking in on wantonlife.com. The Lindell family start their wanton life journey from a current CO2 level of 7.29 tons per person per year. To get down to one ton per person per year, they have to drop to a family total of 80 kilos of CO2 per week. You'll find detailed information about the family's CO2 on the website onetonlife.com. Join in from the start and follow us on Facebook, Twitter and the various blogs on the site. In the next One Ton Life episode on February 4th, the family will move into their new house. See you then.